I'll just say it. That was quite a week we just closed. And I will loudly say that we owe a huge debt of gratitude to many people in society, specifically those government first responders and medical personnel working around the clock, our military personnel who are protecting our freedom worldwide, and those in the military domestically battling the virus through their efforts here. Scientists and manufacturing facilities that are conducting around the clock research to test and cure the virus. Factories that are changing their directions to manufacture medical and protective equipment. Those stocking shelves at night in our markets and groceries so we have supplies. Those driving trucks to get the supplies to the stores and then warehouses ensuring supply chains are being fulfilled. And many others if I missed you. Massive gratitude to you all. We are with you in spirit and hope. Let's keep them in our thoughts and our prayers. And of course, those battling the virus as well as those at risk trying so hard to keep from contracting it. Friends and family of some of you and me, perhaps some of you are battling it, some knowingly, some unknowingly. You're in our thoughts and prayers as well. Now let's talk about this coming week because we need a plan. Without a plan, you look for a way. A plan is a set and agreed upon way that is better than wandering to find one because wandering causes confusion. Confusion causes fear, and fear is not what we need, especially now. I want to present you with a simple plan and action. I'll give the plan to you, the action you give. You decide. But I know you're thinking, shouldn't I have had a plan before? Yes, you should have. Did you look at this, look at your plan this past week? Did you take it out and ask yourself, what do I need to do, not do, change, keep doing, and adaptations I need to add to my life? I'm going to make it a little more concise now. Seven steps. You saw them posted on my page this morning. Here they are. One, reach out to your network. Don't sell. Provide value and see how you can be of service. In other words, be helpful proactively. Two, take action. Identify challenges and put your ideas into motion. Three, be a leader and a resource. Know the market, be present, put yourself out there. Four, use online tools to stay connected. Show people you're still forging ahead. Five, clean up your business. Revisit that business plan and adjust. Six, be cognizant of the content you're putting out, okay? Make sure you appear to care. Don't appear not to care about what's going on. Seven, it's all about relationships. Be kind, lift others up, and continue to help people. Now, this is your part, okay? Fill in the blanks. Begin each of these seven things with what will you do to, and then write it down. What will you do for each of these? What will you do and then execute? Leadership and life are about having direction and taking action, doing, acting, and being, not watching. Don't get caught watching in this moment. Make a difference. That's what I got for you tonight. It's Adam. Be kind, be well, and be safe. And uh, as the old adage goes, this too shall pass. Have a good night. Love you guys. Thanks for all you do. And uh, we'll see you soon.